Hey folks, I told some of y'all about my haul today uh, in the hangout last night. I was just going to get a video of it real quick. Got a bunch of free pallets and there's actually some back behind that stack. Uh, and some back behind that stack there too. Uh, this whole stack right here is the same size and the one back behind that stack all the same size and they're pretty decent shape that's going to be my my barn this stack or these two stacks this right here or or maybe these right here they're a little bit older that may be my compost bins i'm thinking about building uh four bins and uh, that way i can start two at a time and then two at a time the next year and let that one sit for a year and do its little thing whenever I start that level blue. Yeah, let's look that up. Uh, but yeah, free wood for the asking. That's all it was. I, uh, I put an ad, an ad out and I've had a bunch of comments back on it. And they were just gonna burn these, the guy said. This right here, I'm going to build me a shoot house. It's got the uh, three-quarter inch plywood on them. Uh, I'm going to build me a shoot house for this year. Put it up on the... Between the green patch. But yeah. That's what it is all about, man. Just using something somebody's going to do away with. These things, if if somebody had sent them to the dump they would have rotted down in I don't know three or four years that's that much room that is no sense in to be wasted you know in the landfills for them to create more so if you can get out there and use it it's almost like a prefab wall you know some of these are, are pretty weak Some of them are pretty weak, but I mean, there's some that are are very strong. Uh, I get the nephews over here. Might even build a little treehouse or something. But that's it. That took about uh, all total loading them up and getting them here. The dude even brought them out on a forklift, put them on the trailer. Uh, all I did was. Rearranged them a little bit, strapped them down, and drove them home. Uh, total time was probably about an hour and a half, maybe, and that's driving too. It's probably 30 minutes of work for free pallets. I seen some on Craigslist that were going for uh, $25 for nine. So I mean, even if you go about that, just thinking in my head that's you know that's probably I think I got 54 the first time and then got about the same the second time so that's a hundred pallets that's around I don't know 70 80 bucks going on that but they're useful if you can find a useful and they're everywhere see so yeah, I'll get out there and check them out build you something shoot house barn pens I've got a I've got a pig pen down here right over here I never got the pigs yet but it's built out of 10 foot by well four foot by 10 foot pallets just four of them makes a square I've got uh, I've got one in there crossways from the lay on and one on the top side at an angle for a roof. That's all it is. Free pallets. Now them, the four foot by 10 ones are about 30 miles away. So every time I go, it's about $70 in gas. But if I, if I work me a Craigslist deal up there, you know, I can get them for free, get the gas paid for. It's all cool. All cool in the neighborhood. Man, another thing I wanted to let some of y'all know that are living off the land and doing doing what you can. 
Uh, these guys are selling these uh, 275 gallon water totes with a cage around them. Uh, you can see them all over the place for $75, you know, sometimes 60 bucks, sometimes 80. Uh, a local place up here in the town, closest to me, selling them things for $199. Well, that's a little high. Especially when I just found a place where I can get the same thing for 40 bucks. I'm actually fixing to go get some of them and put them out for the road. Look at that, red tomatoes. Put them out on the road for sale. If you can get 199, I sure surely can get 80 a piece, only putting 40 in them. Look at that. I gotta come out here and pick in a little bit. Cucumber. Look at that. We got cucumbers all over the place. Look at that. I guess we're gonna have some kind of squash tonight. Got a big one hiding up in there. But anyway, I was just going to give y'all just a little video of ways to make it without without being expensive, you know. You don't have to go out there and buy name brand stuff, high dollar stuff when it's available everywhere. Don't go to the scrapyard if somebody don't buy it. Look at that. I spotted that one and this one over here. Well, I thought I did. Anyway, y'all check your area. Uh, just check them out. Call a couple of warehouses up and just ask them. Man, all they can do is tell you no. That's all they can do. That was my thing for years. All you can do is tell me no. If you don't want me to get something, tell me no. Because if you don't say yes, that means yes. Just use it. Think outside the box and use what you can. There's a pallet right there, actually. And an old A-frame when we were doing the adopted highway. But just get out there and think outside the box. We'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day.